The much anticipated Smart Summon feature has finally made it to the mainstream. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to use it and give you my overall thoughts. The originally named Enhanced Summon, eventually renamed to Smart Summon upon the release of Tesla's V10 software update, has been in the hands of thousands of Tesla owners across the US. And Elon Musk reported there were over a half a million Smart Summon uses within the first few days. According to Tesla, Smart Summon is designed for the car to drive to you or a designated location, all while maneuvering around and stopping for objects. Now, in order to use it, you must first and foremost have autopilot with full self-driving. You will also need the latest version of the native Tesla app, 3.10. Now, to find out what version you have, open the Tesla app, tap the settings icon in the upper left corner, scroll to the bottom of that page, and you'll see which version you have. Upon opening the app for the first time, you will notice a new command button labeled Come to Me on the home screen. Press and hold, and the car will come to you using your phone's GPS. If you'd like a more detailed look on the path the car is going to take, you can also go into the Summon section of the app, tap the icon on the top of the car, and it will take you to a map with your location as well as your cars. Now at the bottom of the screen, press Come to Me, and you'll get the same result. If you don't want the car to come directly to you, but instead meet you at a designated location, move that particular location on the map to the target on the center of the screen. The line or path from the car will recalculate each time you move the map. You must also keep the target location within the perimeter of the blue circle, which is about 200 feet or 61 meters from the car. Once you let go or lift your finger off the map, the location is set. To make it easier to set the location, press the globe icon on the top right corner of the screen and you will get a Google Maps satellite image. If at any time you want the car to come to you instead of a target location, press the target icon at the top right corner of the screen just below the globe icon and the car will recalculate a path to you. If at any time during the summon process you would like the car to stop, simply lift your finger from the come to me or go to target icon and the car will stop immediately. To resume where you left off, press and hold the come to me or go to target icon and the car will continue on its path to you or the desired location. If you happen to have Homelink, Tesla has added the ability to open and close your garage through the app and can be accessed from the Summon page.
Now this leads me to another summon function, and that's the ability for summon to open your garage, back the car out, and close the garage, all with one single push of a button in the app. However, in order for this to work, you will need to go into the car settings, autopilot, summon, and toggle on open garage. Although this is an exciting breakthrough for Tesla, unlike autopilot, there is no one behind the wheel to take control if something goes wrong. The only control you have is hoping your phone is working properly and actually sends the signal to stop the car should you release your finger. Now in this case, you're relying 100% on technology to work properly. Now I also noticed that during my testing, I did have a weak cell phone signal. And I also noticed that upon releasing the summon button, there was a bit of a delay. So with that in mind, Tesla states that like Summon, Smart Summon is only intended to be used in private parking lots and driveways. And like Autopilot, you are still responsible for your car and must monitor it and its surroundings at all times. Now in order to do that, you will need to always have the car in your line of sight. Tesla also states that it may not detect all obstacles and to be careful around quick moving people, bicycles, and cars. Now I quickly learned it doesn't detect all curbs during one of my first tests I documented in my first episode of the Will It Come To Me series. Now be sure to check out that video if you haven't done so already. I'll post a link to it in the description below. Even though Smart Summon is in its infancy, it still isn't perfect, but pretty amazing to watch. After seeing it for the first time, my son said, we are watching the future now. I don't think anyone will disagree that Smart Summon is a work in progress, and like Autopilot, one can only assume that the half million summon requests in only the first two days have been sent to Tesla, along with future requests. And what this means is we will get software updates in the months to come, and we will start to see major improvements to Smart Summon. But in the meantime, it's best to play it safe. As Tesla states, and I mentioned earlier, Smart Summon is intended for private driveways and private parking lots. And although they say to be careful around quick moving people, bicycles and cars, it's just a good idea to avoid those situations altogether and do it the old fashioned way. Walk to your car. But make no mistake about it. Eventually Smart Summon will be intended for all parking lots and will also drop you off at the door and find a parking spot on its own. No one knows exactly when that will happen, but it's inevitable. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Are you pushing Smart Summon to its limits or are you playing it safe and not using it at all? Or are you somewhere in between? I would love to hear how all of you are using it. Well, that's it for now. If you like this video, be sure to give it a like. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. Until then, stay positively charged.